So I'm going to show you how to upload your own models to Comfy. Um, this will mostly be for Run Comfy. If you have your own uh, instance set up or you're running off Colab, um, you'll just want to make sure your, your images or your models go in the right folders, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Um, the other thing I want to mention is Run Comfy has this kind of nice feature. Um, we'll go in here and we'll click Launch Machine. And instead of clicking on one of our uh, versions that actually has a GPU, we're going to use the free CPU only. Um, a nice feature that Run Comfy has is that you can, uh, for 20 hours a month, you can use a CPU only machine. And what that means is um, uploading files directly to uh, Comfy can take a while. Um, you know, there's six, eight gigabyte files. Um, so to upload them, it can take an hour sometimes, depending on your internet speed. So the nice thing is uh, Run Comfy has provided a free CPU only version. Um, that will allow you to upload files, um, set up everything, and you won't burn through your credits um, or you burn through your time. So let's say it takes an hour to upload um, an eight gigabyte file on your internet. You know, usually that might cost you whatever these costs are, um, 80 cents, a dollar an hour. Using the free version of uh, the CPU only, you can upload files, they get saved to Comfy system, then you can uh, stop your machine and reopen a machine with a GPU and actually use that model. So that's what we're gonna do in this session. We're just gonna use the free CPU only. I'm gonna go ahead and click launch here. Um, and we'll hit continue, and then we're gonna use the current latest release. We'll hit next. And um, you'll see it's free, but it's only free. I've already been using it for about 40 minutes so far just to, de to test and demo stuff. Um, but we'll go ahead and hit launch. Um, I'm actually gonna make this a little bit longer. I'll give myself an hour and a half. I don't really think I need that for my models uploads, but just in case, we'll do that. So go ahead and hit launch. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time um, to get started. It takes three to five minutes. So I'll stop the video and then I'll come back once we're launched. Okay, so now we need to find a model to upload. Probably the best place to look is Civitai, um, civit.ai, or it used to be civit.ai, now it's civitai.com. Um, and we need to search for models. So let's say we want to search for something. Um, let's do photo realistic. Hit search. And you'll see here there are a bunch of, uh, we can search by models. Let's look for an SDXL model maybe. Um, SDXL 1.0. And you'll see here there's like a model that does photorealistic photo double exposures. Um, that sounds kind of cool. Let's take a look at that. So we'll click on this. And you'll see here the base model was SDXL, which is important to know. Um, and then we'll see, so this is actually a LoRa, so we can't actually use this. And this is the other challenge here is a lot of these files will be LoRa's and not fully uh, a trained model. So let's go back to models. Let me see if I can actually um, set this up correctly. So we want to go models, filters, and we're going to look for checkpoints. All right, so now we've got that. So then we can go in here and we can say, um, see a lot of women. Sorry, I know this is kind of one of their things. Um, here's a one that's all midnight stuff. So let's take a look at this. Uh, now turn a version of Night Vision XL. So we can kind of see, okay, this is interesting. Um, I like the images it makes. Looks like these very textural kind of images. So let's go ahead and download this. So there's two ways to upload a video or upload a model directly to Run Comfy. Um, the easiest one, or like the less use, you know, one um, is actually just download the file. So download this to our computer, and then we'll upload it to Comfy. Now the problem is this is the slowest way to do this. Um, your consumer grade internet is not as fast as a lot of these other uh, machines are. Um, but let me just show you how you would do this, and then you can decide if you want to do it this way or you want to do it the other way. So go ahead and hit download here. I'm going to download this file, save it somewhere I know what I want to use and we'll let it download. So this is gonna take a couple minutes to download and once it's ready, we'll go ahead and look at uploading it um, to Run Comfy. Okay, so I actually changed the model that I was gonna download uh, because it was gonna take an hour just to download it, which means it's probably gonna take two hours to upload that file. So this is a good, actually a great thing for me to talk about with Civitai. So with Civitai, when you find a model, like say you find this model called Real Dream, you'll see here along the top that there are many, many different versions of this model. There are uh, Lightning 2 Low CFG. There's Pony 7, Pony 6. I don't even know what half these are. Um, there's a Turbo LCM model, which we might talk about in the future. There's an SDXL model. When you click on these little um, chips here, it'll swap out the model and tell you which version you're downloading. Um, so in this case, I want to actually download just the 14, the 1.5 version. 
The reason I want to do that is because it's going to be a smaller file. It's only uh, two gigabytes instead of the XDXL files, which are like six or seven gigabytes. Um, so in this case, if I download this one, it'll be smaller. It'll be easier for me to upload. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded this file. It's on my desktop. Um, I know where the file is. So I'm going to go back to Run Company now. And what you want to do is this might actually be closed. For most people, it'll probably look like this. So you'll go ahead and click this little arrow here, which makes our, our space a little bit wider. Then we're going to go into our folder. We're going to go into Comfy UI. We're going to go to Models. And you'll see here there are a bunch of models here. The important thing is you must put the model in the right place. Um, so if you are uploading a LoRa, you want to make sure you upload your LoRa to the LoRa's folder. If you are uploading um, an Animate Diff model, you want to make sure you upload it to the Animate Diff models. We'll go through more of this at a later date. Um, in this case, what I'm uploading is an actual checkpoint, meaning it is a finished, fully completed model file like an SD 1.5, SDXL, SD3. So we'll go ahead and double click into checkpoints. And you'll see I've already got some up here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click our little kebab menu up here, and we're going to go to Upload. And we're going to upload a file. And it's going to say which one you want me to upload. And I'm going to upload this first one here, which is Real Dream SD 14 SD 1.5 dot safe tensors. We're going to head into Open. And this is now uploading. You'll see it'll take a little bit. It'll take about 20 minutes for this to upload. So when this is uploaded, um, I'll, I'm going to stop the video now. I'll open it again when I um, am finished, and then we'll take a look at where our file is. OK, so now that's finished, you'll see that our folder here updated with the actual file here. So we see real dream 14sd15.safe tensors. Now, in order to be able to use this, well, there's two issues here. One is we can't use this because we're really on a CPU machine. Um, remember, the CPU is free. It allows us to upload these files, which take time and doesn't burn through credits um, or burn through our money. But uh, we can actually be able to at least see that it is imported correctly. Um, in order to do that, we want to actually come over here and we're going to hit refresh. So refreshing means it's going to look back through all the folders and make sure everything's there that we were looking for. So um, but actually, before I hit that, if we were to look here and I were to look through and try to find our file called Real Dream, we can actually type this in Real Dream, you'll see that it doesn't find it. Um, and that's because we haven't refreshed our folder. So let's go ahead and hit refresh. And then we're going to click here and we're going to type in Real Dream. And now we'll see that it's available here. So we can now select this, and our model is now accessible. Now the problem is we can't run this because we're in our CPU. So what we want to do is we want to stop the CPU. We'll launch the machine again with the GPU, and then we'll do the exact same thing here. So I'll do that once just to look at it, um, and then we can sort of just make sure it works. Um, it feels a little annoying, but it actually saves us time and money because of this process of trying to upload these large files. Um, so let's just take a look at what happens when we, lose, when we use this in the GPU. OK, so we're back in Run Comfy here. I've now loaded this in a GPU model um, or a GPU computer. I'm going to close this to as small as possible. We'll go down here, and we'll look for Real Dream. I want this one, because my other ones are broken. Um, and then we're just going to generate using the default prompt. I just want to make sure this works, essentially. So come over here, and we'll hit Q Prompt. And actually, I'm going to use a preview rather than Saving this, so we'll have to use this to preview. Delete the save, and we'll just preview our image. So we'll hit Q prompt, and hopefully this turns green and then moves on, and I don't have an error. If I get an error, then I might need to re-upload the model. We'll have to see yet what happens there. But so far, so good. I am using the smallest uh, GPU machine you can get through Run Comfy, which is a medium. It's probably a little bit slower than other models, but you'll see it did run, so that's a good sign. Let's check out our image. Oh, cool. So you will see our image is a little bit more photorealistic than we usually get when we run, a, run the default prompt. So that looks to be working well. Um, cool, so we're working here now. Now there's one other way that you can install models. Actually, there's two other ways. I'm not going to talk about the other way, the third way, because the third way is actually kind of broken. Um, if you're familiar with using like wget or that sort of thing, 
For whatever reason, I found wget does not work well on Run Comfy. I have no idea why. Um, it just seems to be a problem with Run Comfy. So if you think that that's your solution, it doesn't really work. Also, with Civitai, you often have to be logged in in order to get models. There's a bunch of problems with that. So if you want to use wget, uh, you're kind of on your own, and I have found it generally doesn't work. The other way to do this is using the manager. We'll go to manager, and we'll go to install models. And we now have a list of models that we can install here. Now, the problem with this is this is kind of maintained directly by Comfy, which means a lot of the models we're going to look for might not actually be fit, like findable through here. So if I type in real, you'll see, I would expect to see real dream in here, right? Like, because that's a model that exists on Civitai. But unfortunately, because it's not part of their system, um, you can't find it. So let's also look for that midnight model. Midnight. Nope, not there. So the downside of this is most models are not available to the system. But what we're going to look at um, as we sort of go through things in the future is we might actually find that certain models that we want to install are not on Run Comfy or not in, if you're using this locally, you definitely won't have most of these models. You might need to download these models in order to take advantage of some of the tools we're going to look at going forward. So this is not the perfect example, um, but it is an example of a way to download models. And we'll probably do this um, in future sessions, or at least I'll record videos for people who are not on Run Comfy that are use either using Colab or, or running stuff locally. Um, and I'll show you how to get the models you want for that, because you will need those um, when we go forward, so especially for stuff like control nets or IP adapters or animate diff. Um, we're going to need to install m models that allow us to do that stuff. The reason I like Run Comfy and the reason I'm going to continue to recommend Run Comfy is m the majority of those models come pre-installed. So you, as a Run Comfy user, don't need to go and find the thing, install it, make sure it's being installed correctly, and then go from there. Um, it's kind of already installed for you. So uh, keep that in mind. Maybe that's a reason why you want to um, switch to Run Comfy if you're kind of playing around with um, using a Windows machine or a Linux machine, or even if you're using a Mac, which I really don't recommend, but you can try it. Um, you can download models directly through the manager, but it's a lot more limited than what you might find on Civitai or elsewhere. Or maybe you train your own model or someone else is training a model for you um, and they give you the file. The best way to do it is to upload it, which is slow, I admit, um, but it's going to be faster than, well, actually, it's the only way to do it for Uncomfy. So um, so that's a little brief video that ended up being longer than I expected it to be um, on how to upload models directly to Run Comfy. And the same will be true if you are running it locally. You just want to make sure it goes in the right file, right folder system. So if you're uploading a checkpoint file, like an SD 1.5, SDXL, make sure they go in the checkpoints folder um, and not in a LoRa folder because then they won't show up in that, um, that finder. They'll show up in LoRa's and then you'll kind of have a mess in your hands. So the important thing is make sure things go in the right folders. Um, and that's how we upload checkpoints directly here. Um, cool, that's it for this video. So I'll see you next time.